Top 25 Best Tennis Quotes of All Time, Inspiring Words from Tennis Legends to Paraphrase Forrest Gump, Life is like a game of tennis. You never know what you're going to get. And yet many aspects of tennis and many lessons it teaches us are transferable to real-life situations and problems. Life, like tennis, requires tenacity, dexterity, strategy, coaching, recuperation, and mental strength. It involves unexpected losses, conquest, seemingly impossible battles, and thrilling victories. Sometimes you win, while sometimes you lose. An obvious cliché, but it holds true. Players fight to win every game, never abandoning hope until the final point is scored. For many, the fear of losing inspires them to keep working hard, while others who are driven to prove peers or family members wrong tap their inner resolve for the strength to persevere. But one big thing tennis teaches us is that there is more to life than simply winning or losing. If I asked you which players won Wimbledon 60 years ago, you might scratch your head. All victories, even those that appear so crucial in the moment, eventually are forgotten, surpassed, exceeded, or otherwise clouded from memory. That doesn't mean that it's ever wrong to strive for excellence. Far from it. But more important than winning or losing is the fighting spirit and indomitable character we develop during the relentless process of striving and picking ourselves back up time after time, rain or shine, win or loss. Once we commit to improving, we are never the same again. Tennis is a game that tests a person's resolve, hard work and determination, and often provides allegories for how we approach our own lives. In today's video, I will be sharing with you the 25 of the best quotes from some of the greatest legends of the sport. 1. Roger Federer When you do something best in life, you don't really want to give that up. And for me, it's tennis. Life becomes worth living when you are doing what you love. When you chose something you love, you never get tired of it, it never drains you, and you work hard on it with all your heart. Steve Jobs echoed a sentiment in his infamous speech to Stanford graduates. And it's such important advice that we put it right at the start of this video on purpose. As Steve Jobs once said, Sometimes life's going to hit you in the head with a brick. Don't lose faith. I'm convinced that the only thing that kept me going was that I loved what I did. You've got to find what you love. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle. As with all matters of the heart, you'll know when you find it. And like any great relationship, it just gets better and better as the years roll on. So keep looking, don't settle. 2. Venus Williams Tennis is mostly mental. You win or lose the match before you even go out there. Before any match of life, if you mentally decide your victory, you're halfway through. Your thoughts decide your fate. Always think positively. As Henry Ford once put it, whether you believe you can do something or whether you believe you can't, you're usually right. Believing in what you're capable of is central to succeeding against your opponent on the tennis court. Practicing visualization will help, but so will competing in many, many matches and refusing to give up, even if things don't go your way. As Winston Churchill put it, success is going from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm, but you become what you think about. 3. Boris Becker I love the winning, I can take the losing, but most of all, I love to play. This quote from Becker encapsulates the first two pieces of advice, which are that you should believe in yourself and visualize success and continue competing regardless of the result. The most important thing in tennis is to give it a try. Believe in yourself and persist. Passion drives perfection. And if you love doing something, you're likely to improve your skills over time. The same principle applies in other areas of life. 4. Boris Becker the fifth set is not about tennis, it's about nerves. Boris revealed a million-dollar tip about tennis. The fifth set of the game is really all about how you handle the pressure. It reveals a steely reconnection with the intentionality of the determined competitor. Victory goes with the power of intentionality and faith and persistence. Learning to stay strong, hang in there, and keep believing is vital to achieving victory in every arena of life. If you get hold of your nerves in a tough situation, no one can defeat you. 5. Billie Jean King For me, losing a tennis match isn't a failure. It's research. Most winners fail in life more times than they succeed. However, they embrace failure and instead of being scared of it, see it merely as feedback. That's how they become a success. Failures always teach us new lessons. The only way to fail is to stop learning from feedback and to stop trying to improve. Even champions need to improve their performances and can learn to get better over time. 
you must learn from obstacles and challenges and come back stronger. 6. Rafael Nadal Losing is not my enemy, fear of losing is my enemy. This statement of Nadal reiterates what we observed earlier. Fear of losing is something that makes people lose before they even step out on the court to compete. The main aim of every player should be to defeat the fear of losing before he defeats his opponent. That way, you set yourself up for success and realize that failure or loss isn't the big bogeyman you think it is. It's simply feedback. 7. Roger Federer What I think I've been able to do well over the years is play with pain, play with problems, play in all sorts of conditions. You cannot call yourself a successful player unless you learn to continue playing at a high level through all manner of difficult circumstances. Roger Federer was known for his indomitable competitive spirit and for refusing to give up. In fact, Roger Federer never retired from a match, once. During the entire span of his long professional career, Federer played an astonishing 1,511 matches. In that time, he has failed to complete zero of them. He has never retired mid-match due to injury or discomfort, which is an absolutely insane statistic, revealing the utterly mind-boggling level of determination that Federer has to win. Federer never medically retired from a match, even when his back was so bad that he had to sit on the linesman's chair between points in his 2008 ATP Finals match against Andy Murray. So what excuse do you have? Your situation should never be an excuse for a bad game. A successful player trains himself to continue through all sorts of conditions, and that's his strength. 8. Martina Navratilova The mark of great sportsmen is not how good they are at their best, but how good they are at their worst. Your attitude at your worst defines you. Everyone is good at their best. What makes you a great player is resilience during bad times. Will you treat a player with dignity who has been unpleasant to you? Will you maintain a good attitude during periods of poor performance or injury? Will you work on improving your own game rather than tearing down those who are more successful? Tennis gives us a chance to demonstrate skill, learn, grow, and be happy. But every day cannot represent a time of endless happiness and victory. We must make our minds up ahead of time to adopt a long-term perspective and choose a positive attitude. 9. Serena Williams If you can keep playing tennis when somebody is shooting a gun down the street, that's concentration. No matter what circumstances you are in, no matter what happens around you, and no matter what people are saying, your focus on your aim should never dissipate as long as a dream burns brightly in your heart. The level of mental fortitude necessary for the Williams sisters to continue to play tennis deep in the heart of gangland Los Angeles is unimaginable to most of us. Her life may have been in danger on more than a handful of occasions, and yet her focus on playing tennis and building her skills remained unwavering throughout her young life, all the way through to today. 10. Steffi Graf Sometimes I wish I could have been a bit more relaxed, but then I wouldn't have been the same player. A great player knows the importance of staying engaged with one's game. Once you ease down and relax, your opponent pounces and progress is lost. Consistency is the key to success and someone striving for perfection must remain focused on his or her goals, displacing whatever isn't working with what is. 11. Billie Jean King Champions keep playing until they get it right. There's this one thing about the winners. They never give up without succeeding. Keep trying till the end because each one of us is capable of winning. Accepting defeat is unnecessary. You can do this. Be hopeful. As we said earlier, whether we think we can or whether we think we can't, we're usually right. So let's get rid of what's wrong and build in what's right. 12. Venus Williams It is very important not to think about losing. It is very important to eliminate the fear of losing from your mind before any match in life. Stay focused on victory and put in all to get it. What we focus on, we move towards. If I ask you not to think of a blue elephant instantly, you'll think of one. The human brain can't not do something. So whatever you do, don't think about how you're going to be outrageously successful in life. Whatever you do, don't think about your bright future, which is filled with hope and happiness. Whatever you do, don't think about how you're going to get healthier, fitter, and more successful and more skillful each passing day. Whatever you do, don't think about how much you love these videos and how you're desperate to watch more and to subscribe. Just don't think about it. 13. Arthur Ashe Regardless of how you feel inside, always try to look like a winner. Your attitude matters a lot. If you come out on the court with a winning attitude, you win half of the match right there. No matter how nervous you are, look confident and nail it. 14. Andre Agassi The great part about tennis is you can't run out the clock. As long as we were still playing, I had a chance. Tennis teaches us a big life lesson. 
The game is on till the end. You have a chance until you decide to give up. 15. Maria Sharapova When you start from nothing, when you come from nothing, it makes you hungry. I am proud of where I came from and I know what I want. I want to win. Humble beginnings spark passion in players. They have no fallback plan and are all in on tennis. It's do or die. They strive harder than anyone else and give their all to the game. 16. Chris Evert If you can react the same way to winning and losing, that's a big accomplishment. That quality is important because it stays with you the rest of your life. And there's going to be a life after tennis that's a lot longer than your tennis life. When you learn how to deal with both winning and losing, that's when you become a winner. A victory shouldn't get to your head, and losing shouldn't dishearten you because life goes on anyway. 17. Andy Roddick Most players who play tennis love the game, but I think you also have to respect it. You want to do everything you can in your power to do your best. And for me, I know I get insane guilt if I go home at the end of the day and don't feel I've done everything I can. If I know I could have done something better, I have this uneasy feeling. When you respect your game, you put into it everything you can. You pour in hours and years of endless hard work in order to receive the precious outcomes you desire. Therefore, not making the most of your abilities makes you feel guilty because you could have gone further and it would be an insult to your talents to fall short of your potential in this way. 18. Stan Wawrinka As a tennis player, you have to get used to losing every week. Unless you win the tournament, you always go home as a loser. But you have to take the positive out of a defeat and go back to work. Improve to fail better. This ties into our earlier discussion. Failure is a fact of life and a mainstay of life on the professional tennis circuit. No player can succeed unless he fails again and again. The important thing is to learn from your shortcomings and come back stronger. 19. Yannick Noah I have always considered tennis as a combat in an arena between two gladiators who have their rackets and their courage as their weapons. Many other players have echoed this sentiment over the years, with Kyrgios and Murray claiming that tennis is strikingly similar to a combat sport such as boxing. Tennis is a game of tactics and hitting the right shots. Nonetheless, courage and inner strength are also indispensable. 20. J.M. Barry What a polite game tennis is. The chief word in it seems to be, sorry, and admiration of each other's play crosses the net as frequently as the ball. Your equation with your opponent is an interesting part of your game. Usually, competitions ignite aggression, but sportsmanship dictates that you should remain polite and appreciate your opponent. 21. Russell Lines Tennis is an addiction that once it is truly hooked, a man will not let him go. Every top 100 player who devotes their life to the game would agree. 22. Roger Kahn Tennis and golf are best played, not watched. You cannot learn tennis by watching. You have to get on the court and experience playing it yourself every day. 23. Jane Kaczmarek Tennis lets you talk while you're playing. Tennis is a game that allows you to express yourself while you play. It is interesting because you rarely do this in any other game. Bjorn Borg, famous for his terse or sometimes negligible verbal communications, let his tennis do all the talking. 24. Sonia Mirza as tennis players, you are never satisfied. We are greedy as players, always want better results. Champions never get satisfied and keep on striving for better. That's what makes them legends of the game. Why else would Djokovic and Nadal still be playing? Top professionals are never satisfied and must always strive for improvement. 25. Andre Agassi Tennis uses the language of life. Advantage, service, fault, break, love. The basic elements of tennis are those of everyday existence because every match is a life in miniature. Above everything, tennis is a microcosm of our daily life struggles. Each game of tennis you play is akin to living, replete as it is with misses, faults, upsets, wins, and crucially, brevity. We walk away with a renewed appreciation of how to live. So, which was your favorite quote? These legends of tennis reveal an undying passion and dedication toward the sport which we can apply each day in our own games and lives. Thank you for watching today's special episode of Forehand Frenzy. We hope their words have inspired you. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more videos. See you in the next one.